हे फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एन अदर वीडियो ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफिस ट्यूटोरियल्स फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल हाउ वी कैन यूज डिपेंडेंट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट अप टू थ्री लेवल्स इफ यू डोंट नो वाट इज डिपेंडेंट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट और वाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ यूजिंग डिपेंडेंट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट अप टू थ्री लेवल्स लेट मी शो यू समथिंग हेर वी हैव सैम्पल टेबल और डाटा फ्राम वेयर यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ यूजिंग डिपेंडेंट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट और वाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ यूजिंग डिपेंडेंट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट अप टू थ्री लेवल्स एंड वाई यू शूड लर्न दिस वाट इज बेनिफिट ऑफ यूजिंग दिस डिपेंडेंट ड्रॉप डाउन लिस्ट इन एक्सेल दिस सैम्पल टेबल और डाटा इज एक्चुअली अकाउंटिंग रजिस्टर वेयर आई नीड टू रिकॉर्ड ऑल दी ट्रांजेक्शन सो अदर देन डेट एंड अमाउंट आई नीड टू इनपुट थ्री फील्ड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड टू इनपुट हेयर अकाउंट कैटेगरी As you know account category can be any of these income expense taxes assets liability capital etc so here i have a drop down list where i have this account category let's say let's go with income let's say we have sales and we have income that we need to record so i will choose here account category income so what we have chosen here will change what will appear here meaning you can see here we have drop down list if i open this drop down list here we have accounts that fall under category account category income this is service products by products let's say i choose here product now let's say i change here let's say i don't need to record income i need to record expense i will choose here expense now if i go to this second drop down list you will see here are here are all the accounts that fall under category expense so meaning this drop down list is totally dependent on this cell what will appear here totally depends on what we have here already so now these are two drop down list now let's move to third category let's move with income let's say here i will choose product now in third column if we go to drop down list here we have list of products as we have been choosed here products so here we have list of products if let's say we choose here services here we have different drop down list now water pipe fitting gas pipe fitting let's say if we have here for example by products here we have now different list so meaning this drop down list this third drop down list is totally dependent on second drop down list so from here i believe you have already understood that this is dependent drop down list this depend this drop down list is dependent on this and this is dependent on this so this is using dependent drop down list up to three levels 1 2 and 3 what is benefit of using this dependent drop down list by using this dependent drop down list obviously you can understand that you can save a lot of our time and as you have everything in drop down list you will decrease or you will minimize chances of error so now let's move toward this thing that how we can set up this dependent drop down list in excel for this first i need to delete all the settings that i have done on this table so we can start from scratch i have been deleted all the formulations and settings based on which we were using dependent drop down list in order to use dependent drop down list the first step is that we need to create name ranges for all this list to create name range we will select all this list one by one including their headings we have been selected this first list we will go to formula step we will go to create from selection we will create a name range based on top row because in top row we have heading so we will just keep this box checked top row we will go for okay and we have been created one name range how we can check from here this box name box we can click on this small arrow we will just select the name range and you will see we have been created name range within this name account category so similarly we will create name ranges for all these lists one by one so i will just select income then expense taxes assets liability capital services products by products scrap return i have been created name ranges for all these lists you can see here these are the name ranges let's test one of these let's say we want to test these assets so from this list of name ranges i will choose assets and here we go you can see we have been created name ranges for all these lists 
now let's go to our table where we want to create dependent drop down list to create dependent drop down list we will start from the column in which we want to create drop down list that will not be dependent on any other drop down list right so we will select all these cells in this column on which we want to create a drop down list we will go to data tab we will go to data validation first we need to focus that here which drop down list we want to create as this is a count category and we want to create this list right and this name of this list is account category right so we want to create this list as drop down list here so we have been selected all these cells in this column we will go to data validation first option data validation from here we will select list and we will click here under source we will uh, press the button f3 you will see it will open a name range window where we will have list of all the name ranges that we have been created as we want to insert here name range account category we will select this we will go for ok we will go for ok and you will notice that now we have here drop down list if we check this is list of all the account categories that we have here so let's say first i will just fill the first line i will just insert here for example income and then we need to insert here drop down list that will be dependent on this right so same thing i will select all these cells i will go to data tab then i will go to data validation in data validation i will select data validation again here in this window we will choose list under source we will click but this time what we need to use we need to use a function a formula indirect function we need to put here parenthesis open we will select this first cell from the column on which this drop down list will depend right we will just close parenthesis now why we have been used indirect function here because here whatever we want to bring here is indirectly uh, belongs to this right so what we will do you can see here the cell that we have been selected c7 this is locked this column num column name c is locked and seven the row is also locked column is okay because this full column is dependent on this column right but row differs from cell to cell right if for example for this cell this cell is dependent on this row seventh row this cell is dependent on eighth row right so we will just unlock this row number we will just remove dollar sign we will go for okay and now you will see we have here drop down list so let's check we have drop down list that is under income category we have these types of products or items that our company can sell. let's say this is we can select here product here if let's say we want to choose we cannot open any drop down list but if we insert here anything let's say expense we want to record here expense we have been selected account category expense now we should have a drop down list for all the accounts that fall under category expense right so now we need to insert third drop down list same thing we will do just select all the cells we will go to data validation in data tab we will go to data validation we will select here list we will click under source again we will do the same thing equal sign indirect function open parenthesis we will select this first cell from the column on which this column or this drop down list will depend right we will close parenthesis again we need to just unlock row number column number is okay we need to remove dollar sign from row number we need to go for okay and here we have a drop down list so this drop down list should depend on this so as we have been selected here products so here we should have list of products right so we have this list of products we can choose any of these let's say we select here services here we should have different drop down list right so here one thing let's say if i can show you i have here all the account category under account category we have all the accounts that fall under each category but here we don't have further details let's say for expense or for liability i want to input here manually but for sales as we have specific services or products that our company sales for this income category for this all these i want to input here from top down list but for all others for expense 
for taxis assets i want to input here manually in this case the setting that we have done as of now we cannot input manually anything if let's say i input anything here it will not allow me but as i said i want to input for all all four or five categories other than income expense taxes asset liability capital i want to input here manually for income only i want to input from drop down list so how i can do such setting for this again i need to select all these cells i need to go to same data validation now i will go to error alert tab and i will simply uncheck this box show error alert after invalid data is entered i will just uncheck this i will go for okay and now i have been enabled two things i have been uh, what we did uh, already we did uh, inserted drop down list but now we have been enabled manual input data also if let's say for expense sally let's say i want to put here that this is sales department salary for january 2023 so it's okay we can input manually and if let's say we select here income we select here let's say it is product still we have a drop down list that belongs to these products and then we can even input manually friends as you can see this is quite simple and easy of setting up dependent drop down list up to three levels right and obviously we have benefit we have edge that this will save a lot of our time and it will reduce chances of error right so that's all for today if you like this video if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends also don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye